I'm Jen from Lighthearted. So I love to bake, if you guys haven't figured that out already from my other videos. And every time I go to a party or like a potluck, I'm usually the one to bring a dessert. So this past weekend, I went to a baby shower and I wanted to try out something new, so I decided to make cake pops instead of my usual cupcakes. And I know cake pops have been trending a lot the last few years. I'm kind of a little behind, but I think they're still really fun and great little bite-sized desserts to bring to any event. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. So in order to get started, you're gonna have to bake a cake. I already did mine and you can do it from scratch or make it from a box. I've been actually really tight on time lately um, and I just made this one from a box, which I'm totally okay with. Semi-homemade is totally acceptable for this baking project. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your nicely made cake and you're gonna dump it into a bowl and we're gonna make it into crumbs. Okay, now just using a fork, we're actually gonna break down this cake and make it into our crumbs that are gonna form our cake pops. So now that you've got all of your crumbs, we're gonna add three-fourths of a cup of frosting. It's gonna bind it all together and it's gonna help you um, form the cake pops. Then we're just gonna stir it all together. All right, so now you guys can see it's kind of all mixed in and it's starting to almost create kind of like a paste texture. So I already have my cookie sheet lined with my um, baking mat. And if you don't have a baking mat, you can use parchment paper, works just as well. So to make the cake pops, um, I am going to use my tablespoon. It gives me just the right amount um, for the size that I want. So I'm gonna scoop it, and I'm gonna have a pretty packed amount. I'm gonna put it in my hands, and then you're gonna roll it into a ball, kinda like if you ever made meatballs at home. This is what I'm used to from my Italian family, but you're gonna make it into as good of a round shape as you can. And again, packed pretty tight, and then you're gonna roll it. And you're gonna place them on your, your lined cookie sheet. So I finished rolling out my cake pops, and now I'm gonna insert the sticks. And to help them stay, I'm gonna actually melt some of this chocolate here, um, and then it's gonna kinda act as a glue so that they don't, uh, they don't move. And then we're gonna pop them in the freezer for 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna use the remaining um, chocolate, or these candy melts, to coat the rest of the cake pops. So I used the six inch lollipop sticks, and my cake pops are all set to pop them into the freezer for at least 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna take them and we're gonna roll them into the candy melts. You're gonna need about two bags per one box of cake mix, um, and the more the merrier. So I melted pretty much the full entire contents of the two bags. It's a lot easier when you're trying to roll your cake pops in it. The more you have, the more the better. So now, as you can see, they're nice and cold, and we're just gonna roll them. And then you can use your spatula to kind of get the tops. And then you can kind of remove any excess. And then I'm just gonna place them back on my baking sheets to let them cool and then the candy melts are gonna harden. And then for a little added touch, I'm going to add some sprinkles on top. So here's the finished product of the cake pops. Um, this was only the second time I've made these and I realized while doing some of my research that other people have um, dunked it in the chocolate and then actually put the cake pop in a styrofoam block if you don't want a flat bottom and then that way they'll dry right side up 
and then you guys can decorate them any way you want in that sense and then you can do like a cake pop bouquet which I've seen as well but this is the foundation to make those cake pops so hopefully you guys can try this at home and for more DIY tips and recipes make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on iamlighthearted.com